Hello, I'm Sherilyn Eiffel, and I've come to the end of my tenure as President and Director Counsel of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. After nearly 10 years, I decided that it was time for me to step down. And when I announced my decision last year, I felt confident that this was the right moment for me to turn over the reins of leadership to the most consequential civil rights organization fighting for racial justice in the history of this country. It was not an easy decision. If you know me, you know that I love this organization where I started my civil rights career more than 30 years ago. Serving as LDF's seventh president and director counsel is without question the pinnacle of my career. No work has been or could be more satisfying than leading our extraordinary staff and confronting racial injustice every day with courage, brilliant strategy, legal skill, and a willingness to speak truth to power. Knowing that you walk in the shoes of the heroic director councils who came before me, beginning with our founder, Thurgood Marshall, before whose desk I'm now sitting, was the best kind of pressure. It compelled me to give my all to this work, to strive every day to demonstrate a fraction of the dedication and excellence they brought to LDF. But I knew it was the right time for my departure. LDF is as strong as it has ever been. My work these past years building LDF staff, strategy, vision, influence, resources, and responsiveness has left us fully prepared to engage the challenges of this unique and frankly dangerous moment in our country. But it was LDF and those great attorneys, Thurgood Marshall and Robert Carter, Jack Greenberg and Constance Baker Motley, and so many others who believed in the midst of Jim Crow that they could hasten the end of legal apartheid that was a way of life across this country. And they did it. They did it because they were relentless, strategic, determined, imaginative. And they were able to do it because ordinary black people in communities across this country demonstrated courage and resilience beyond measure, risking their employment, their homes, and even their lives to demand full citizenship for themselves and their children. That's why I know that as challenging as this moment is, it is one that we can and will meet. Tens of millions of Americans know that our dignity, our citizenship, our lives and our children are worth fighting for, and that democracy demands the kind of unrelenting fight that is part of the life's blood of those of us who do civil rights work every day. That spirit must live in every citizen if our democracy is to survive and thrive. Knowing that Janae Nelson will be the next Director Counsel of LDF makes my departure so much easier. I could not have dreamed of a more rewarding and successful professional partnership than the one that Janae and I have enjoyed. She has been side by side with me in so many of our greatest challenges. She's brilliant, unrelenting, fully prepared, and ready to become the eighth president and director counsel of LDF. She loves this work and she loves the communities we serve. Together with our dedicated staff, LDF will take on the next leg of this work and will meet the moment as we always do with your help. I'm gonna miss LDF more than I can say. I love our staff. They're the most extraordinary group of people with whom I've been privileged to do this noble work. I wanna acknowledge the vast diaspora of LDF alumni. I am now once again, one of you. I also will miss my colleagues who lead other civil rights organizations. We have stood shoulder to shoulder in some of our most challenging moments and I'm grateful for your support. And of course, our amazing clients and the communities we serve. I'm leaving LDF, but I am not leaving this work. Fighting for racial justice, equality, and democracy is my life's work. And so after a period of reflection and writing, I look forward to finding how best I can contribute to this work in my next chapter. With Janae at the helm, LDF will be right there in the middle of this fight. Support her, support LDF, and keep your eye out for my next chapter. I can only rest so long. I won't stop speaking out, I won't stop fighting, and I won't stop encouraging you to join me, LDF and so many others, in the work of strengthening our democracy. Farewell for now.